cannon will now shoot at you. Please don't. Catch ten items before they touch anything. Don't think that's fair. Press the red button to start the test. Is this the button? Oh, it is, yeah. Sorry, mate. Get him away. <laughs> I think he's dead. Oh, there he is. Catch him. Where's the cannon? Oh, here it is. Oh! Fling it. Whoa! Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so good. Take that. Oh, I, I am in love with this immediately. Hoi! That's a big boy. Oh, bit of a mess. Two arms into the sea. <laughs> I just... It's so simple, but yet so effective. Let me repeat this. If I had your arms, I'd have aced that test too. You don't have my arms, do you? Do you, mate? You don't have my arms. That is not for you to say. Beardo Benjo. Tentacles. I love tentacles. I'm somewhat of a tentacle expert, actually. I've watched quite a lot of adult cartoons that have quite a few tentacles in them, so yeah, I'm pretty well versed when it comes to these wibbly-wobbly suction cup covered things. This is Tentacular, a brand new VR game from Firepunched Games. They're the developers, and Devolver are the publishers. Now, I'm super excited to check this out today. This is an early look at the game running on Steam VR. This is the PC VR version, but the game is also coming to Quest, and I will be checking out the Quest version once I get my sticky little hands on it. Now, <laughs> this game feels like it was just purpose-built for me. Look at it. I can push this person around. Can I grab them? Oh, my God, I can grab it. I can grab it. Hold on. Come here. Hello there tiny ginger person. How are you? Can I get you? Can I just... Can I get you? <laughs> can I drown them in the sea? Is that fair to do? Can I just put them in... Put them in there? Go... Shush! Go to sleep now. Go to... That's it. Sweet dreams. Sweet... Sweet dreams. Now, just the other week, I actually said that I wish there was a... Um, just while I drowned this person. Um, I said I wish there was a, Godzim, a Godzilla simulator um, in VR. And although this isn't Godzilla, it's kind of like the next best thing. <laughs> because I get to be a big octopus squid creature. Oh, it's so cool already. This is so cool. I've immediately realized that I'm playing this very close to my desk. And that's probably a bad idea. Um. <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. That's going to blow. Is it? Propane. Don't think it's going to go. The propane's safe. Oh, it's not. Propane's gone. Okay, let's lift that. Hold it with that tentacle. That's it. And then start the video game, please. That's, yeah, brilliant. I like starting video games. Oh, hello. You're awake. Been sleeping a lot lately, huh? Uh, you know, it's, it's hard work. Come on now, Grumpy. Is that how you say good morning? To your own sister. You are not my sister. You're a human, for one. Gently tap on people's heads to talk. Bonk. <laughs> Good morning to you too. Uh, have you forgotten what day it is today? It's a Sunday in March. Pretty uneventful, but I'll pretend that I've forgotten. You don't remember. It's my birthday! Peanut butter cake! Put out the candle and make a wish. Oh! That's so sweet! Thank you! Thank you so much. How do I blow the candle out? There we go. I won't tell you what my wish is. Would you be offended if I threw this cake away? <laughs> so many to talk about. Okay. Um, what is it? You haven't done anything wrong. It's not the neighbours complaining. Okay, deep breath. You are adopted. Oh! You've ruined my life. That's it. Take this. <laughs> okay, so I've 
found out that I'm adopted. This looks lovely. This looks really nice. Okay, I found out I've been adopted, um, which was, you know, should have been obvious from the from the very moment I met my sister and family. And now I need to go to this town and talk to these people. Okay, so you can move. Okay, so we've got a move and a turn. Got a snap turn. Very nice. There we go. I can hit this little house. And I can reset my position, I think. I think that's what this switch does. There's a person in there. Hello, mate. You right? I might just ask you what this is about, actually. Quick tap what on the head. Do? Too big to go in. Here? Try open the roof, maybe. I did. Hello there. Did Took you long enough. They're waiting for you inside. Ah. Uh, I gotta take the roof off. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> what the hell? Hello, everyone. Now an official citizen. <laughs> And lots of complaints about your behaviour. <laughs> All these people have complained about me. Oh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get it. You gonna get it. What you got to say? You scared my elephant. Tough titties. Elephants are big. They shouldn't be scared of an octopus. You slimed me. Ah, that's a lie. Don't have any slime on me. I'm not a slimy creature. What do you want? My son says that you cheat at basketball. I don't cheat, I'm just good at basketball. You know, these help for me to do the the dunks. I asked you to help me with the flowers. And you squash them. Flowers are so tiny compared to me. I don't have the, the finesse for, for gardening. I don't have green thumbs. I've literally got blue tentacles. Threw my car across the island. Alright, that was yeah, that was my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, nah, that was that was not okay. Uh, okay, so this is where they're gonna designate my job. Hello, Baldy. I'm Ray Lamp, but you can call me Mr. Ray Lamp. Let's <laughs> help you find a job. Do you already know what you want to do? I, uh, huh? Wonderful, but irrelevant. Your job will be determined here. Push the button. Welcome. Valuation, great. I'm good at those. Answer questions truthfully. Easy. Can you touch type with 12 fingers? Ah, mm, uh, no. I can't. I've got two fingers, basically. Are you proficient in... Ah, uh, calm plus plus. I think that's probably some kind of uh, computer software. No. Can you draw life-size city maps? Ah, uh, can you do manual labour? Yes. Thank you. Evaluation complete. This is adorable. Ability testing facility. When this hot air balloon pops in, there's like a little sound cue that goes tentacular. And I, I, I respect that. Can I just do a bit of just a bit of chaos? I've not been able to do any chaos yet, so can I kill this man with this boat? Die! Please! Oh, there we go! <laughs> it's alright, he came straight back. He came straight back. I don't want to do it again. No, my God, wow. <laughs> oh, I like it a lot. Kill him. There we go. Drop boats on his head. People love it when you drop boats on their head, right? Come here. Oh, I can pick them up. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, I love it. He's so far away. Hello. <laughs> right, is this my job? Is this where I'm working now? Cleaning up the docks, I guess. Hello. Ready for the next part of your evaluation? Sure. We will do a series of tests to judge your physical aptitude. Tell me when you're ready. I was born ready, mate. I'm the one who cleans up after things go wrong. So if you made a mess, don't hesitate. Just reset and try again. Okay, so it's a reset button for, for missions if you cock up. If you're stuck and don't know what to do, just talk to me. Always here to help. Aww. Thanks, mate. Thanks. <laughs> I'm having fun. too much fun. This is ridiculous. Move ten objects into the glowing dump area. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Right, so... Pick that up and just kind of gently, gently fling it in. Bit harder. Bit harder next time. Hoi! I'm not doing well. Okay. Small object. Bugger. Um, slightly bigger object. Just a quick little... Okay, that was nice. Oh, I just got to get used to it. There we go. Fling. I counted. Amazing. Can I put you in there? Do you count as an object? 
Charles. What about you? Oh, little person with a hat on. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I've missed these kinds of VR games so much. This, like, immediately reminds me of, like, Job Simulator, like, that era of VR gaming when everything was kind of a bit silly and it was all about using the mechanics of controlling virtual arms. Oh, it doesn't take yourself too seriously and it's so fun. Can I just do some weird stuff? I mean, can I, kind of like... If I bang you into that, is that going to be good? Oh, okay, she's gone. What if I just hit this guy with this? Oh! <laughs> oh, is this Tetris? Hello? I will now test your fine motor skills. Actual motors are not involved. In this test, you need to stack these containers exactly like the yellow glowing shapes. All right, take gently take that. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to be a perfectionist here. I think that's pretty good. There we go. Um, what colours should we use? Purple. Purple is one of my favourite colours. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this, yeah, I like it. And then pop that one just on top there. Come on, come on. Gently does it. There we go. Good. The AMT will need to see your effort. This helicopter is driving a photographic device. That's a huge camera. Aim at it. Aim it at your construction. Do not show your tentacles in the picture. Oh, is this a camera for me to... Okay. What's happening now? Am I taking a picture of this? <laughs> um, did I just take a Polaroid? I did. Uh, pure joy. Pure tentacle filled joy. Can you use the power lines as a slingshot? If you can, try to clear all the red areas. If you do well, this guy owes me lunch. What do I get out of it? Okay, so this is a slingshot. All right, we take a boat. We pop a boat on the power line. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Okay, right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, grab the boat in the, by the back, by the back. Okay, gently, gently, gently. Oh my god, this is great. Right, right there, right there, right there. Oh, not quite powerful enough. More power, more power, more power, more power, more power, more power. Oh, come on! Nearly, nearly. Really give it some. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I only need a very small amount of power on this next one. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. This little guy, come on, mate. You've got a hard hat on, you're probably going to be okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, ready? Use that hard hat of yours. Go. Oh, she wasn't strong enough. Okay, I might need to use an actual thing to knock that off. Let's use this. Oh, that's heavy. Go! Oh. Sometimes the simplest mechanics are like the just the very best in VR. Something's still blocking that. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All of it. One clean sweep. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, I'm just so good at being a monster. Others won't believe this happened. Come on, snap a picture. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a picture for you. Hold up. Hold up. Turn it around. Oh, sorry. Ah, there we go. Okie dokie. Alright, say cheese. I don't know what it is I'm aiming at. <laughs> oh. Oh, here, oh, here we go. Ah, there we go. There you go, guys. Giant picture for you. You can use that as like a some wallpaper or something. I cannot think of any other VR game that lets you fling a little person that far into the abyss as a giant tentacle monster. You know, uniqueness is this game's DNA through and through. Calculation complete. Your new job is... Uh, that isn't anything. Oh, it's crashed. Oh, great. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Give the MC a good slap. Ugh. Error. Brilliant. Repeat the conversation. Your new, new job is... Come on. Your new job is... Come on. 
Oh, really bugger, I broke it. <sighs> Mollus XP. Your new job is Junior Manager of Toxic Waste Disposal. That's a brilliant job for me. I applaud you. You heard the machine? Off you go then, yeah? Your new life starts tomorrow morning. At 5 a.m. That's not a good time to start work. How about I get in at 8? I'll see you at 8. Okay, let's cause some chaos. Or not. I think I have to be a good person. Hello there. Tap. Don't want to be late for your first day at the dump, do you? I don't. Start first day at work. Uh, not just yet. Not just yet. I want to explore. Was that a plane? Oh, I wish I could grab it. Right, let's have a little explore before I start my first day at work. I've got two people. I can pick up multiple people. That's cool. All right, let's have a little look at this city, this little village that I'm in. There's so many little things going on here. Are these two people trying to get up these stairs but can't quite figure it out? Look, if you want to go up the stairs, just ask me. It's fine. There you go. Up you go. And you. Up you. Don't come down the stairs. You wanted to go up the stairs. Watch out, there's a car there. Oh my god, you're insane. Okay, right, you can cause some chaos. There's a game stomp here, which, you know, is game stop, but not. Pump the stock. Oh, my God. Everything's really high up. Oh, what is this place? Hey there, big fella. You're here for that job. Yeah, that's me. Heck, giant tentacle beast wasn't my first choice, but we'll make do. I will be the best employee you've ever had. I run the dump. Okay, mate. Nice to meet you. Today we're cleaning up this mess because we're looking for a yellow shipping container. Search for it and try putting the tanks on the conveyor belt. Right, I'm just going to put everything on here and you guys can sort it. And I'll look for the container. Uh, uh. Did that fall into the sea? This isn't really working, this shipping. This, con this conveyor belt is barely doing anything. <laughs> this conveyor belt is doing... Next to nothing. Uh, yellow container. Oh, I think I can see it. I think I can see it. All those delicious espresso machines are in there. Honestly, this conveyor belt is nonsense. Look. Stuff goes up and just falls into the sea. <laughs> it's abysmal. Find the yellow shipping container. It's here. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Uh oh. Grab it. I'm trying to grab it, mate, but it's like stuck on these rocks. Oh, damn. Okay, I might have to break this. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I didn't do anything. Um, I think when I pull this out, there's going to be a bit of a problem. What is that? What is that? There's a spaceship in there. Is that a spaceship? Something's shining real nice. I know, mate. <gasps> spaceship. Aliens! Do you not want the yellow shipping container anymore? This has got bloody your espresso machines in it. Oh, conveyor belt's broken. Okay, put that there. Look at this! <laughs> what is happening? Oh! That was a bit trippy. Um. I'm in space. Get up. Am I in space or am I under the... What is happening here? Get up. Ugh. Oh yeah, I am. I can put it down. I can put it down. I can pull the chain. That's it. Pull the chain. There we go. Come on. Ugh. Higher. Yeah, I'm going. Going as high as I can. Some giant birthday cakes floating in the abyss. I'm so confused. Wake up. Oh, am I unconscious? I've passed out. Come on. Come on. Uh, here we go. Whee! Oh, I hurt my tentacles. On my first day. That's so sad. Are you okay? Hello? Sis, sis, sister? It's not looking at me. Shall I bonk her on the head? Hello? You alright? I'm awake, yeah. Look, I hurt my fingers. 
I had a terrible first day. Can you not see that? It was abysmal. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Thank you. I was so worried. When I was told you were hurt. Can you tell me what happened? A spaceship shot me in the face with some lasers. Not sure why. You know, just a terrible thing to happen. Holy salmon. A flying saucer, exactly. Fish hospital. Dr. Flossenhammer. That is very specific. That's a huge hospital just specifically for fish. Although, what's this about? This machine here. Grinder aid. I don't think this is a fish hospital. I think this is some kind of... Uh, 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 fish first factory. This isn't a hospital. This is where fish go to get turned into sausages. I've never had a fish sausage. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think I ever want to have a fish sausage. Come on. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going to have to put my hand in there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, a little bit more. Oh my god, this is terrifying. A little bit more. Oh, I'm free. Okay. Get in there. I guess I'm too big to be turned into sausages. There was no way they could ever turn me into sausages. I'd be a huge sausage. Now go talk to the doctor again. Thank you very much, nurse. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Can you just, like... Just quickly... Just, let me just... There we go. Bye! So this has become a proper puzzle game. Like a proper building puzzle game. I need to use the magnets and the items I have, the steel girders, to basically get this to stay there. But right now, it's too heavy, so it falls over. <gasps> There's a thing there. Hold on, hold on. If I put something there... Oh, that's so nearly it. It's <laughs> about as good as I can get it. It's not counting. <laughs> okay. Oh, it needs another magnet. It needs another magnet. Another one, like, in here. To hold it upright. There we go. Yes! Oh my god, I've done it. I bloody did it, and now I need to take a picture of it to prove that I've done it. So this has changed into like a proper little puzzle game, and actually maneuvering the puzzle pieces and figuring it out is quite cool. I guess I could have solved that a few different ways. I'm terrible at holding the camera. Um, there we go. Picture, please. Oh, I really rate this. I'm going to leave it here because I've played quite a lot. I've probably played about an hour so far, just mucking around in these levels. This is seriously cool. This is due out at some point in the spring this year. So spring 2022. No fixed date right now. And I'm immediately in love with it. It feels very reminiscent of some of those early VR games. Things like Job Simulator and Vacation Sim. It feels very Alchemy Labs, actually. It feels like something they would make, but this, this isn't made by those guys. It's Fire Punched Games, I think they're called, and published by the Volver. Really, really cool. Great sense of humour. Really lovely kind of cel-shaded visuals. And it's it's basically a puzzle game. It's starting to reveal itself as a puzzle game, especially in this magnet chapter. Having to use the magnets to create the structure it wants you to create and then take a picture of it to prove you've done it is brilliant. And I'm assuming I could have completed the puzzle in multiple ways, but I don't really know. Now, I must admit, when I loaded the game up, I did think it was just going to be destruction. Just silly destruction. But it actually has a story. A really sweet story about an octopus who's an adopted brother to a human sister. And she really cares that you've got a job and you're doing okay and you're not getting hurt. And you go to work every day and you do tasks for, for your boss, who currently is a professor, and you found an alien spaceship. It's wacky, it's weird, and it's kind of everything that I love about VR. Just unashamedly crazy and it uses the mechanics of VR beautifully. I really hope you've enjoyed this early look at Tentacular. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment and hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another one. I'm going to throw the professor into the sun as one last hurrah. Goodbye, professor. Oh, I 
love this game. They come straight back for more. They just want more punishment. They can never get enough of it. I love it. I absolutely love it.